Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's Mr. C, and I would like to present to you Death Wish Modes, a build that uses the Infernal Wish, Blood Letter, and Deathless Relic to great effect. It takes, you know, like some of the guns you have forgotten about in recent past, especially with like the new meta that's came out, and makes them somewhat shine again. You can see here in the video that I use things like the lead sprinkler, and you'll see that I'll be using the bitch, the carrier, the saw bar, and a lot of these have been forgotten about and are honestly slightly underpowered, especially something like the carrier because of the past nerfs that happen with the multiple projectiles and so on and so forth. But with the Infernal Wish, being able to, you know, split the projectiles or double the projectiles on single projectile weapons, I guess that's a better way of putting it, makes some of them actually pretty fun to play again. Coupled with the explosion from the atom bomb effect of my relic, makes them pretty viable. A lot of the footage that you'll see had been taken in true takedown or, you know, like mini bosses and stuff. And I will definitely admit that against something like Hemavorous or if you want to go to Minos and play true guardian takedown, you're probably going to want to use a little bit stronger weapons. But for anything else, it is definitely viable, more than viable and a lot of fun to play. I will leave you guys with the remaining part of the video and the clips, and I will see you in the build section. Enjoy. Okay, everybody, before I get into my skill tree and loadout, I didn't add this in my commentary earlier. However, with the Infernal Wish, it adds a projectile, a single projectile to every one of your shots. So, for example, the saw bar is a single projectile weapon that splits into three projectiles at a certain distance. So with the Infernal Wish and its ability, you will fire two projectiles that will now split into a total of six. This was some of the reasoning behind some of the guns that I chose, such as the lead sprinkler, the craps, and a couple others. I also chose some of the guns that either have like a high crit damage or have like a sticky effect, which is fire the projectile and adds a sticky and then it explodes after a certain time. Other than that, going over the build now and my skills and my gear, it's all pretty much the usual suspects. It's a blue capstone build. I actually go down pretty far in the red tree, which I don't typically do, but for the blood letter and for 5150 setups, I definitely recommend getting something like Desperate Measures, which gives you a pretty, pretty high amount of gun damage and Phalanx Doctrine, which when it builds up over time, gives you a substantial increase in shields and gun damage, and I happen to enjoy gun damage and a lot of survivability. Didn't go very far down the green tree, just took big surplus in the purple tree. 
And for those that aren't aware, Big Surplus gives you an over 400% incendiary bonus when, you know, you're on action skill cooldown. That's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thank everybody for their support so far in my channel. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Have a good one.